हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट परस्पेक्टिव कंसर्निंग द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ करप्शन एक्ट रिसेंटली वी हैव अ साइटेशन इन आर फेवर वेयर बाय द अक्यूज हैड बीन एक्विटेड अंडर सेक्शन सेवन सेक्शन थर्टीन वन डी ऑफ द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ करप्शन एक्ट एंड अल्टीमेटली द स्टेट हैड फाइल्ड द अपील बिफोर द ऑनरेबल हाईकोर्ट विच वॉज ऑल्सो रिजेक्टेड the decision is very much important it is recent judgment propounded by the honorable chatisgarh high court the title is state of chatisgarh versus sugam singh the judgment was pronounced on 6th of may 2022 so we have to know what are the facts then we will analyze the contention and the observation of the court so that the said judgment and its resolution time could be helpful for us to fight a case if we are the accused of anti corruption friends usually when a case is filed against you under the prevention of corruption act you got depressed and disappointed don't worry if you are innocent the legal position is with you i am with you and definitely we will win so be motivated and have a proclamation that we will win at any cost first of all i am going to narrate the fact of the case to you which would be quite helpful to you to analyze your facts at a glance so that if the law is applicable to your case as well you could have the benefit of the same friends the facts are that the complainant means the person who has filed the report and mr kulvinder singh is complainant in the present case he is a partner of sai vishwas mill and he has given a written report on 8th of july 2002 to the concerned sp of the special police establishment raipur he had mentioned the following facts on 28th of june 2002 a license had been issued to his mill by food controller durg and ultimately he has produced the rice and deposited the same to the concerned fci for the purpose of testing the concerned accused who is the member of the fci had rejected the rice and further told the complainant that if he want to have the benefit then he has to pay 3000 as a bribe to him ultimately the complainant had recorded the said conversation by by using the private device and reported the matter to the concerned anti corruption bureau anti corruption bureau on the same allegedly had done the verification proceeding pre trap proceeding and the post trap proceeding and ultimately the accused was caught rod handed and a charge sheet under section 7 read by section 13d of prevention of corruption had had been submitted after perusal of the evidence and the legal position the consent trial court had acquitted the accused on the ground that the prosecution had failed to prove the offense beyond the reasonable doubt against the accused hence he deserves to be acquitted by the bare perusal of the judgment at this level we are damn sure that is a it's a duty of the prosecution to prove the case beyond reasonable doubt if it is not proved then the accused could not be convicted under the prevention of corruption act so this is a plus point for you please note down the state had went into the appeal the primary contention was that there is a demand there is acceptance recovery of money the financial test is positive There's a recovery. There's a pendency of work. There's a motive, and investigation is conducted in the due manner. And there is nothing on the record to suggest that or to infer that the accused is innocent. Hence, he deserves to be convicted, and the judgment of the trial court deserves to be satisfied. But the defence had raised the four important point, which is quite important for us to win the case. Please note down. I'm going to narrate. the primary point the animity for this the questions has been asked to mr uma khan who is the defense witness in the present case he is the district manager fci what he has stated he has stated the technical assistant has right to purchase the rice and to reject it on the basis of quality if the lot of rice is rejected then the right is reserved with the rice owner to prefer an appeal before the district manager he had submitted that he recognized the complainant kulvinder singh who is owner of Bish- of bishwas rice mill and apart from that 
his entry is prohibited in the premises because previously he had assaulted and done the quarrel with one of the employee of the F uh, FCA. Even the complainant, the point number two, admitted the same scenario. And apart from that, the recorder which was used initially to record the LOS conversion was not produced and even the consent recorder which was produced does not contain the alleged voice file to sustain the factum of demand and acceptance. And apart from that, the consent trial court looking to the fact and circumstances related to the fact of anybody had rejected all the contention of the complainant and held that the story proposed by the consent complainant is totally concocted, is totally filthy and could not be relied upon. And apart from that, there is anybody and that's why this is definitely a false application. Because in the said report, which was lodged against the complainant, the concerned accused is one of the witness. And apart from that, the law laid down by the Honorable High, uh, Supreme Court in Bay Jairaj is also relied on, in which it is stated that the demand and acceptance are sine qua non to prosecute the person under the Prevention of Corruption. If one of the elements is missing, and if the elements all the present but they are not satisfactorily reposing confidence in the consent court, then the accused could not be convicted under the Prevention of Corruption. And apart from that, the consent high court, by relying on number of judgments, had held that if the consent trial court acquits the accused, then the, the plea of innocence got strengthened. In that scenario, the accused could not be convicted by reversing the judgment of acquittal into the conviction. So, in at the end, the judgment was in the favor of the accused and ultimately he is acquitted. So friends, don't worry, don't get disappointed. We have number of opportunities. If things are going to be against us, then definitely things will be in our favor. Be motivated and be ready to fight for your case. Because by getting a disappointment, by getting a depression, we inter alia leave the idea to fight the case. And which is totally fatal for us. We have to first gather all the information concerning our case that is called a briefing. Then has to do the research works that is called collection of law. And by doing both the procedure, we have to do the alignment of, bo of both the perspectives so that we could have the optimum result from the consent code. So don't worry, if you are having the same problem, do this practice and definitely you will get the result. Friends, see you in the next video. Till then, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.